So I am the military liaison for the team. Uh, I, the anthropometrists, the scientists, the technical experts, they're the ones that are taking all the measurements and doing the work, and I'm making sure that we have that military connection to get us to site locations uh, throughout the, uh, at least starting with the East Coast, but getting us to those major fleet concentration areas and getting participants in the door. The data from this study will affect so much down to the end user. It's not just to affect industry, it's not just to affect our partnerships, but it goes to the end user. It's to ensure that everyone who walks through the door into their squadron has access to survival gear that fits, access to uniforms that fit, boots that fit, uh, and they're able to get those uh, uniform pieces readily available and get out and do their job uh, effectively. So the, the more that we can represent the general population, the more that we can help out the future aviators to include ourselves in the very next day, but those who come into the military as well uh, gets what they need and can do their job and fly these aircraft for the mission. So we are planning to go out and sample 4,400 air crew enlisted and commission officers, um, Marine Corps and Navy both, and um, current population and a candidate population because we'd like to open up accommodation a bit more. Um, and the, that is because we haven't gone and done work like this, a nice comprehensive anthropometric survey since the mid-60s. When we actually go out in the field, there'll be a, a check-in station where Lieutenant Knapp will be checking everybody in. There's a, a, a Privacy Act statement they'll fill out in there. And then there's a QR code and there is a, a pretty, I think a, a good questionnaire that we're giving them. So we're gathering all the demographic information that we need which because we are you know definitely tracking our sampling and making sure we get a representative sample but then we're also asking them questions about what what they've been flying what their flight hours are uh, we're looking at their clothing and and uh, flight equipment and the sizes that they're in the sizes they think they should be in and asking whether or not they've had issues getting what they need in the past we're also doing pain and injury questionnaires and this is something that we're interested in comparing to the data we're getting for range of motion as well um, like to do some things with that, maybe look and, and, and bounce that off of what types of aircraft they're flying, um, how many flight hours they, they have for different aircraft, and also what is their age. Um, we would expect to see some changes in, in range of motion as you age, or if there's injuries and things. So, so anyway, they'll check in, then they'll go and they'll get landmarks. Then they'll go to uh, another station where they'll have lengths, breadths, and depths taken, um, as well as thumb tip reach. Um, and then from that, they'll go to and have circumference circumference is taken, head and hand measurements, and then they'll go and they'll be uh, scanned with the PassFit body scanner, um, and after that they'll do head scanning, hand scanning, range of motion, foot scanning, and we're also uh, in the pro process of purchasing a body composition analyzer that we're pretty excited about, so we'll be doing body composition as well. Things is uh, to be able to come up with the, the sizing for different clothing and flight equipment, um, and you know, so they fit properly. But also then, I mentioned tariffing or stocking, having the things in stock that you need. To be able to ha uh, you know, manufacture and purchase the number of items you actually need and have those available to people, which becomes a readiness issue if you don't, um, you need to have that data on our population to do that. Rather than trying to draw from a general population and we're kind of guessing at a certain point, educated guessing, but it is still guessing. And the population demographics have changed drastically in the Navy. Uh, so that the, the hope is that we will be able to give new requirements to acquisition programs, seating, you know, aircraft, clothing, flight equipment. We'll give them new requirements based to include this candidate pop population that we want to accommodate. And then we'll be able to, in the future, design things that are, are open to more people.